Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore, this is Lapith of Refrain, Covenant Desk. Let's do this. I'm not too, too concerned about items, I have plenty of jitterbugs, I believe. Yeah, I have plenty of jitterbugs, and I have all these Moon Serpent Bloods I've been saving up, if I actually need to use healing items. If I'm at the point where I need to use healing items, I'm probably in deep trouble already. And how strong the uh, the FOEs have been around this area, I'm kind of concerned about this final boss. You stand before a giant beating heart. At last! I've reached Velkarana's heart! This heartbeat... It... reminds me of Mom. Yeah, the disembodied voice of Velkarana. Antichambers, I see. For the foundation I laid to be usurped by the daughter. This too must be fake. That's right. This is fate, Baba. I don't know what you've experienced in all those worlds you visited. Maybe you got what you wanted. Maybe you left disappointed. But that's no excuse to make others suffer. You can't give in to hatred! I've seen what hatred does to a soul. How it taints it into something unrecognizable. You are too late. Maybe you're right. Stopping you won't undo what's been done to Tannis. But I won't let what happened here happen anywhere else. I won't let you fly to a new world. That's what we've all been fighting for. Me, Neldo, Zorok, Tracti, and even my Witch Brigade. This is the end of our brigade's long journey. I will devour this world and take flight. To devour the worlds that yet remain! I won't let that happen! Not now, not ever! To me, Witch Brigade! Good luck. Let's begin. We're finding the heart itself. Okarana's heart. Kitty, you picked a very bad time to sit up. Alright. Seeing what else I can mess around with. Bouncy Carnival. Get ready! Just in time! Don't unpower! Blocked. Were you we can't go with the no. That won't work. That it, it bypassed by uh it completely bypassed by uh my stubbornness. Yeah, they should all have stubbornness. Why did it do that? All right. Well, in the meantime, I'm not too worried about axe speed actually. So you know what? We will. I'll use you to use items for now. I still use your powers. Formation is hot, hot. Naughty, naughty. Now you hit. Time for an up. Roger. Stash resistance has sharply fail. Fell, rather. A second win! A second right. chance! Oh, it might have been an instant death effect. So that's probably why it worked. It did what it did. <laughs> so in that case, I'm not going to worry about defense then. This for <laughs> Naughty, naughty. Yeah. Hey. Here I come. Here. Coming. I hope this works. Uh, outline destroyed. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. 
I have heard a few things about the final boss, and I know it does a lot of this. Pretty much you need super high resistances. But that's fine. You heal everybody. Use items. So I do have these green apples here. Resistance drop. The, the, the power is a, a second wind, a second chance. Your stats are still increased. Rest <laughs> is fine. I'm already. Yeah, yeah, Donum power. Hit. Nice crit and startled. Okay. Thank you, startled. Okay. Keep it up. The power a second wind, a second chance. Your stats are dropped actually. Uh, I've already buffed, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's it's stats up. Restored as well, but that's fine. We'll keep doing what we're doing Do for now like for this round. Witness the power of Donum. Break a leg. Oh, over a hundred thousand. That's gonna hurt. Okay. And it's charging up for something. Wait, where's Branquit? I can't use Donum because of the abyss. So you keep doing your thing. You. you keep doing your thing and hope this is this naughty naughty. Just the star speak to me. Here I come. I hope this works. There. Okay, mud fl uh flame mud and fog resistance have dropped significantly. <laughs> And I'm actually down to three reinforcement points left, so I'm just gonna use what I have. This for me. Reckless blow. Naughty, naughty. Yeah. Here I come. Okay. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little stars. Cut and attack and defense cut in half. Okay, you buff yourself. You keep attacking, you keep blasting. Sixty-six thousand. All right. So it took a lot of damage there. The uh, tick damage from my um, the heart kind of backfired on me. That's okay. So what we're gonna do here is crunchy apples. Crunchy apples. And a jitterbug on you. In serpent blood. Uh, actually, don't do that. Use item. We're really close. Not sure why there's a uh, items down here.
Game crashed. I was close. Labyrinth of the Plain, Coven of Dusk. And it's like <laughs> I've been waiting. I can feel you. it lagging. Now then, allow me. I mean, I've only seen it crash while I'm recording, but still, it didn't give me this issue for you know easily 60 parts, and now it's just like not playing playing well. So yeah, um, status effects are a thing. Um, so what I'm gonna I don't need to really worry about um, uh, buffing defense. So I'll save the I'll save those points. That'll save me twenty seven points. We'll skip, please. Thank you. Let's get started. We were th we were there. Like it was flashing red, and we pumped over like you know nearly a over a hundred thousand damage into it after the fact. So like before, we're just gonna do this and that this and go. Here, just Witness the power of Donum. Okay, this time I at least hit. Instant death, instant death, instant death, instant death. Okay. That's some bullshit. Jitterbug. 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 So this time it hit every it hit over half my party which is pretty impressive Roger so you want to thanks for wait take two Action. now my status resistance has dropped the, 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 the second win a second chance I do that. And the rest of Do it matter. like this. Huh? Yay! Huh? 148,000 damage. Here, here. So I did oh I I've done about 200,000 damage already. That attack missed. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Could have been worse. Attack. You use items. I need to start using uh, green apples. Technically, I don't. Yeah, they're not. They're not a best. That case. I am gonna go ahead and heal though, while I still can though. Here I come. Yeah, Donum, guide me. Bit. All right, I uh, got startled off. The door hit. So I think we door hit it twice so far. They can't use Donum. That's fine. Yeah, uh, no, I've door hit it twice. You can tell from the body piece it has. Okay, their stats are still lower. That's fine. Lamp fog go. Naughty, naughty. Oh, yeah. Understood. Coming. Here I come. Here, there. All right. Okay, magic gathers. That's fine. The, 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 the second win, a second chance. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and debuff it again. I'm I can. Flashing red now. Okay, we lost some people, that's fine. Alright. So this is what we'll do. I'll send G specific orders. Jitterbug. Bug, heal everybody. The, the, the power. Don't guide me. 
Not the order I wanted, but that's fine. Okay, illusion, not what I wanted. Okay, heal everybody again. Thanks for waiting. Witness the power of Donum. Fear. Attack and defense have cut in half. Doesn't affect Donum power, but it does affect everything else. A second win! A second chance! <laughs> this formation is Donum power! There! Here I come! Here it's defending! Yeah! Fusion? Yeah. Understood! I got it off. Okay. And I don't have any reinforcement left, so I literally have to just attack. This for huh? I hope this works. <laughs> this uh? understood. <laughs> Go all in. Huh? I hope this works. Oh! Here I come. <laughs> Here I come. <laughs> Go Nidori! <laughs> so it was healing itself, but it seemed to be a percentage base, and a really tiny one at that. Victory. Yay! All threes? I had no reinforcement, so it didn't matter. I leveled up. Soul of Asara. Stopped. Here goes nothing. With blinding speed, Mezaluka cast her spell on Velcarana's stopped heart. The heart starts to beat again. What? It, it only lasted a second? The voice of Velcarana reverberates through the air. Foolish child. I will devour everything! As Luca falls to her knees, her will to fight gone. No! She's gonna fly away! It, it was all for nothing. Even though I stopped its heart, I still failed. I couldn't stop it long enough. That was my last chance. The last chance everyone was hoping for. The time has come! Please don't crash. <sighs> Where do you think you're going? Bukharana's body is suddenly weighed down by a powerful force. <gasps> a new hope shines in Mezaluka's eyes. Now! Chakti, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But you have to die with me. Please! I can't... I can't let her escape! We need to combine our remaining magical power. You, me, and the Witch Brigade. And blow her up! This is why she asked the question before. Bitch! In a last ditch effort, Velcarona conjures a giant blade and hurls it at Mazaluka's neck. I can't dodge it in time! <laughs> Suddenly, the Dronia puppet known as Number One appears and destroys the Velcarona blade with an electric, electric shock. Tractatus Demonstrum! 
As Luku throws the pendant containing the soul of the Tractatus de Monstrum at Velcarana. If you want to fly so badly, Velcarana, then fly down to the depths of hell! Before the explosion can consume them, number one conjures a mud exit to the surface and pushes Mesaluka through. <laughs> My, how you've grown, Luca. In a faraway world called Tanis. There lived a lonely witch. Her name was Soul Witch Mezaluka. Though she loved nature and people, she was the only living creature in all of Tanis. She housed the souls of the dead within her body, tainting her own soul in the process. And no one was alive to thank her. She wandered her dead world searching and smiling all the while for you see she had already lost her ability to feel sadness some would say this witch is a fool a smiling idiot worthy of scorn but one soul remembers her nobody knows whose soul this is but you know only you remember her. Only you know her story. For this story has always been about the labyrinth of Refrain, the Witch Brigade, and you. All right, let's hope it doesn't crash during the credits. Because that fight was tough. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be any talking or anything like that. And I don't know if there's a stinger. So, uh, I, I, I read a few things about the final boss. Like, just kind of things. There's like a section I was like talking about how you get the best ending or some nonsense. And I mentioned that the final boss had a lot of status effects, uh, status effects and nonsense like that. Um, it seems to have very predictable patterns. It always opens with an instant death. Uh, then it doesn't. Uh, it's, it's, I think uh, it then kind of just will gradually do attacks mixed in with um, debuffs, essentially debuffing your status resistance resistances, debuffing your elemental resistances, debuffing your physical resistances, and then having your attack and defense. And then after that, it just does nothing but attack, it looks like. And then, of course, it starts heal. I guess it's trying to heal at the end. I don't know. Um, obviously, if you can get any sort of status effects that stop it, like a confusion, a poison, a startle, a confusion. Um, I think I said a confusion twice. Um, that can really turn things around. Um, obviously, those status effects can be really nasty because they don't kill you. They just make it so you can't do anything. Um, poison, I mean... Those that poison and confusion can prevent you from taking actions, and abyss prevents you. From, if any member of your coven is abyss, you cannot use donut powers. Um, I nearly screwed that up because um, I was dumping a lot of points. Once it started flashing red, I just tried to focus all on offense, um, and I was I I ran out I ran out of reinforcement points. And once you run out of reinforcement points, you can't use items, um, which is really really bad. Um, and so at the end, I was just like, all right, I'll just do all my attacks. That's all I could do. Um, now, you kind of saw a little bit of how powerful a bell user can be. Um, if they, just, they just don't get hit once they get to a certain point. Um, funny enough, it was not the leader that, was, that survived to the, to the end. It was, it was just one of the regular characters that wasn't getting the charm boost. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wore it down like that and the good news is when it got down to just them and they were, and she was they were dodging all those attacks it's um because i think the debuffs wore off eventually and so they were just dodging like normal um all those dodges were buffing up their attack power to a max of like 500 percent which made up for the fact that their ha their attack was halved 
Um, obviously, if I had put a little bit more effort into the, the bell user, uh, the uh, theatrical stars, I think they would have done a little bit better. Um, but yeah, they can, they they dodge rather well. Obviously, the second fight kind of went really messy. I, I probably would have won that first time um, rather easily because we had pretty good control of the fight. Um, but unfortunately, it crashed on me. Um, the second fight started a lot worse, and I didn't get as many status effects off. But I did get those gore hits off really early. Those gore hits were pretty key. I mean, I did over, like, I don't know, 300,000 damage to it in the first couple of rounds. Um, this thing probably had a ton of HP, to say the least. Um, obviously, once it started having my attack power, it kind of hurt a bit, and I didn't really have any opportunities to, to rebuff myself or debuff that much. Uh, but even when your attack is half, it doesn't affect donut power, so I was still pumping 30,000 damage with that. Unfortunately, I didn't ever hit, I never got the poison off of it, which is why I was using the fog one. Obviously, everything, it was resistant to everything, because that's how most of the bosses are. And for some reason, I keep trying to think I can turn on my light above me, but I'm, those bulbs are burnt out, so I'm just going to sit in the dark as I watch these credits. Um... I think I talked a little bit about this game during the last credits. Um, overall, it's pretty fun. I like it. Um, I th I kind of wish it introduced the soul transfers a bit sooner, um, just so you, you're familiar with it. Because obviously the idea behind soul transfers is you don't make your character based off what they are going to be immediately, but what they will end up being. Which is obviously why my characters were... Well, they didn't really... I mean, Alice was a belt, uh, theatrical star. I think I had Mei Ling as a as a uh, as a uh, mage in this one, but I mean as you can see the classes were a bit wacky to begin with. Um, obviously some classes are quote unquote better than others, but they do have some abilities that are worth picking up just to mix and match. And I do like the mixing and matching. Um, this game definitely has a very sh wacky difficulty curve where it kind of goes all over the place. Um, obviously, you can pretty much go through the majority of the, ga the base game without much issue until the very, very end. Um, you can you can pretty much go through the entire main game uh, without using any soul transfers. Uh, in this, I had I had mostly maxed out soul transfers, and it was still pretty brutal. Now, granted, I went in with only nine puppets, and you can go in you can go into that fight with fifteen. Um, but obviously all the attacks were AoEs and they hit everybody, so it's quite possible you just would have had more um, more liabilities, to be honest. Um, also going in with only three Covensmen, I had pretty much the... Uh, I had 92 reinforcement points, which obviously I was pumping about six per turn to buff up uh, two of the Covens. Um, obviously, uh, don't worry too much about defense in, in the final battle, because everything hits every, everybody. Um, I think the, um, the fortresses can uh, block, take hits for other p people, so that might help you against the AoEs, but I'm not sure, because I honestly don't really use them. I think I only used them once. I used Sarno a few times to help with leveling up after I did a soul transfer, but beyond that, it, I, as far as on camera, I don't think I've ever used one, and I've never used one in my personal play playthrough. Also, this is the first time I've defeated Vilcarona's Heart. I've never actually done this, the, the post-game stuff before. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Hey, it's us. Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk, End. Anywhere but here. Dun dun dun! Welcome! Welcome to the Dusk of Tannis! <laughs> hmm? Huh? Are you still asleep? Hmm, huh. that's odd. Hmm, did I make a mistake? Hello? Hello? Do 
Division of Tannis unfolds before you. Hey! Found you! Long time no see. It's me, Luca. I've spent three months trying to find you. That explosion tossed you pretty far. I've been looking for you because I wanted to thank you in person. For everything that you've done. There's still not much going on in this world. But it's got ground to walk on. And nature, too. Maybe there's other stuff, too? <laughs> anyway, I'm on a journey now. I'm hoping to find another living person. I haven't found anyone yet, though. Oh, yeah! I also wanted to ask you something. When we defeated Velcavrana, I heard Mom's voice. And Madame Dronia's, too. Did you also hear them? Yes. <sighs> I see. I just thought I'd ask. Well, I'm sure they have a lot of catching up to do in heaven. Oh, yeah. It took a while, but I finally made graves for Madame Dronia, Auntie Velnia, and Mom. They're right next to Dad's. <laughs> I hope they're going easy on him. There's no one else in this version of Tannis, but it's nice to know you still remember me. I would feel really, really lonely if no one remembered me. Finally, I have some important news. <laughs> so, even though I said there's no one here, that doesn't mean I'm all alone. Because... Dun, 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 I'm pregnant! Huh? Only a soul witch can experience the miracle of an immaculate conception. This might be my witch's intuition, but I think she'll be a girl. And an amazing witch to boot! I already have a name picked out and everything. Gosh, I still can't believe I'm gonna be a mommy. How exciting! My daughter will be born in this Tannis, but maybe in another Tannis? She'll get to live a happier life. <sighs> the same events will always unfold in worlds whose fates are preordained. Even if the players are different, the story they're fated to tell remains the same. Life is never easy. But I want my daughter... No. My daughters. To be strong. And live free. That's my wish. Oh, I can't interfere that much longer. Chakti. I don't have the words to express how much our relationship means to me. But if you ever need my help, just call for me. As long as you remember us, I'll be happy. My name is Mezzaluka. I will live on in your memory. I hope I don't remain a memory forever. Thank you. They all get some save data. Commencement. Great clear day. Uh, yes, please. Server slot. Turn to the tile screen. Labyrinth of the Fade. So what happens? Heaven of dust. Wanna go go to the ruins of Tannis? Sure. So there's a spoils list for on net of that. We do have the soul of Asara. Strange mass that appears to contain Asara's soul.
not any of this. So I have a star of soul. Give me one moment. So I tried to look up the soul of Asara. I supposedly it's uh, for an apprentice note. But since I haven't unlocked the, the rest of the apprentice notes, I'm not going to worry too much about it. So I don't know what it's exactly for, but as you can probably see from the next objective, it says freely explore the labyrinth, activate new game plus via witch petition. So if I want to, I can go back through the entire game if I want to. Um, I believe you be, you'll be able to take the book that allows you to understand other languages with you, so you can actually he read some of the, the excuse me the dialogue for things like the um, the golem and stuff. But I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just happy I won the fights with just one person uh, still standing. And uh, yeah, um, this was Labyrinth of Frank Covenant Dusk. Uh, a bit of a dark ending. Um, I mean, the the timeline that we did the base game in is continuing on to, I guess, a quote-unquote happy ending, sort of. <laughs> uh, though it's just Luca and Madame Dronia is, you know, in the afterlife or whatever, because she didn't uh, she didn't go up the staircase. And in this one, it's, uh, you know, you come back to see the destruction of what happened in the original timeline. And you technically win, but all that's left is Luca and whatever her child is, which I'm guessing is just some weird soul witch stuff, because she just, you know, sucked in a bunch of souls um but yeah she she at least stopped Valkarana from destroying any other worlds and she kind of just explores this this world that only has nature and her and right at the moment um i was kind of hoping for like you know some sort of a little bit more closure with you know dronia and, and uh, velnia and things like that but uh it is what it is, and overall, like I, like I said, I like it. I generally like these types of dungeon crawler games. Some of them, t t uh, some of the JRPG dungeon crawlers, kind I kind of burn out on, but this one I was kind of willing to stick around with. Um, I do like the synthesis, the ability to just take junk loot and just combine it all into good things. Um, that definitely made the game a lot more interesting. Um, I, I would say maybe you, your options as far as like spells and stuff, uh, don't empowers. While they definitely have their uses, as I've shown, um, you end up just you only using a few of them, I feel. Um, I didn't really explore too many of the status effect ones, or the instant deaths, or the ones that require you to sacrifice poppets. Um, there's definitely a lot of variation you can do with like the, the various covens. Um, my th biggest drawback is the fact that they mistranslated a lot of the descriptions for the, for the packs. And that made it so I didn't really want to use a lot of them. Because <laughs> it was just like, okay, I th if this thing's just going to debuff me, I'm not going to use it. Um, obviously, uh, I went with kind of a very focused build where I only had about eight poppets at a time, which just which made it a little bit easier as far as grinding and keeping track of loots and stuff. Uh, it can be, get a bit overwhelming if you have a lot of if you have you know 15 poppets in the front row and you know 25 in the back row that all you know require gear to give you various small benefits and things like that. But like I said, it's very interesting. Um, I like it. Um, Definitely can't go wrong with this game. So, um, I am the Depressed Edor. This was Labyrinth Friend, Coven of Dusk. See you guys next time.